How's it going, freak, freaky freaks? Freaky Dakota here. Today we are playing Rocket League. It just got updated, and as you can see over here, season two has begun. So, um, we're gonna find us a match. As you can see, there there is a Rocket Labs, which is trying new experimental arenas. So we're gonna check out, see what there is see what they got I mean hopefully they got some good ones I haven't tried this all right here we go boom all right whoa holy crap what is this what is this and where have you come from Crap. This is like like wow. Holy crap, dude, it's like this level is so sick. I it's got like a creative design to it. I like it. It's it stands out. Like like, I like it, it's so... It, it's unique, to say the least, I should say. Okay, and I don't talk much in single play videos because, like, I'm concentrating so much, but look around. I like this, this is the... This is one of the best arenas I've ever seen for a game I've played. This is I'm gonna call this the U or the U Space Arena. And that seems like a good name for it. That's oh and like it's it actually gives an advantage to teams. It makes it more difficult because it's also more easy to score goals and that's what makes it more difficult for teams. It's really good. At least from the way it looks because like you curve around and the ball could just go in and you could drive through here look at that isn't that a cool f <clears throat> cool feature so amazing and <coughs> oh jeez it's choking on something <laughs> oh my god I love the experimental labs, holy crap. So basically these are levels that the developers have made, I'm, I'm guessing. And they, but they're wondering like if the community likes them enough to put them in the game. Is what I'm guessing. I don't know if like this is the only level so far or if there are more, but so far I think. In my opinion, this is the only one and I love it. Developers, you probably won't be watching this, but if you are, put this in the game. I would love to see how people think about it. And, you know, it also makes getting around the track a whole lot more easier than, um, than normally. That's for sure. Because you could go from one side, it's like a circle arena, I guess you could say. That's, that's a word. It's really good. I love it. It's an amazing level. Developers... <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, it's just holy crap. And look, there's... There's one that's floating in the air. There's a... That's sick. It reminds me of like... Reminds me of like the jumps in Mario Kart, how you have to get that power up. That's what it seems like for me. You have to jump it. I mean, 
Hey, you need some stunts in Rocket League every now and then. Look at that. And plus, like, if you're at their goal too, and like, let's say you want to um, defend, but you're at the other side of the goal, you're like, oh crap, I gotta make it around. Well, no, you could just go right through here. Oh, I need to just pay attention to the game. Like, look, I'm on the other side of the field now. Oh my god, and the banking is so perfect, too. Wow. If they do end up adding this onto it, I'm gonna keep playing this map over and over. Holy crap. It's called Rocket Labs, I think. This is the game mode. I can't remember. BAM! <laughs> I have my chance, alright? At least we didn't score. If we could score in 10 seconds, that would be amazing. But I don't think it's gonna happen. We could, especially with the way the track's designed. Ah, uh, crap. Well, that was a really good one. I liked it. Wow. Alright, that was really good. I liked that. Wow. I love this arena. It's, like, so sick. I loved it. Let's move on to the... N I, th I think there's a next one? Oh, yeah, there is. Ooh. Huh. Ooh. Oh, and you've got a. Oh, okay. And you can't aim straight down the middle. Like, watch, you go straight for the middle, you go up. Holy crap, that's sick. I, I'm gonna be saying this, unlike almost all of these, so. Where? It's just the ideas they have for this. Like you get, like they. I don't know if this is what they do, but you get to sit in a room designing soccer arenas. So say, like something pops up in your head, like, oh, I could do that. We could make this. It's so amazing. That's so cool. Alright. I need... Like, if you're a YouTuber and you like doing Rocket League videos... Oh, we scored! Yay! Doctor PP hurts. Hmm. OG tree over there. He got it in there. All right. So, what are we gonna do next? Look at that. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I got super concentrative there. Look at that. Alright. This looks so sick, though. So there are different maps that they've developed. Well, haven't developed into the game. They, like, 3 d did it and everything. They just haven't, like, what? Like, put it in the game. Well, <laughs> technically... Alright, this is... Okay, OG Dank left. Might get this game for PC. I've been playing a lot of... Not recently, but... I have been playing some PC games. I've been playing Gmod. I've been playing Slender the Arrival, which I wanted to play on my PS4. But, um... It, the game wasn't running right, and... The controls were really weird for it. It's probably that I said it in a weird way, but I don't know. Okay, it's 2-2. Two, two. Alright, this is a... Wow. Watch how close. Alright, watching this, how close I came to hitting the ball. I, I actually thought I tipped it there for, for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, these goal designs are so light. I know I can't. Oh my god, I need to stop saying how cool they are. But they are just amazing. I, it's very creative. I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way. Very, very creative. If you do this for a living, well, you are, you have a good job. <laughs> and plus, they've 3D, 3D it. It's just that they haven't fully added it to the game. This is what I'm saying. I guess I don't know. Jeez. Like, you have to describe something while you're playing at it. Like, an actual competitive online game. It's really hard. Because I'm like, I'm trying to concentrate, and then I'm trying to describe all of this and that. And the knickknacks. It's just really cool, I think, that you get to do this as a job. Like, there's probably people that draw it out, and there's probably people that, especially 3D, pr uh, 3D prints, 3D animate it. And it goes into like really good detail now. There is like a couple of glitches, probably. N not glitches. Right now I've kind of got used to this. Like look at the banking right here. Oh I got an assist! Wow, are you serious? That was sick. I think I'm the only person on PlayStation in this lobby. Because I think, isn't it that PS4 and PC servers are merged together? I think it is. Which I think should be done for a lot of games. Hey, we won! <laughs> I like that one. Oh, we got a dead Manu 5 antenna. 
I like that. Everyone laughs except me, of course. Cause I'm lonely. Ooh. There's boots on the walls? What? There are boots on the walls. Holy crap, that looks sick. Like, me and Jason, when we were playing the game, like, before, this probably was a thought in their minds. We said, you know, it'd be cool, like, if they put, like, oh my god, I didn't even notice this. If, like, they put boosts where you could pick them up on the walls, which would be really, really cool if they did, we said. This is like a mini racetrack, check this out. They're making a left turn! They're making another left turn! They're making a left turn! Oh, we almost completed a lap. Holy crap though, these maps look sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave out of this lobby though, cause uh, I think that's it for this video guys. Um I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, uh, please leave a comment down below what else I can do. And uh Yeah, I, I guess that um leaves it at that it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you.